Oh, well, that would mean that somebody is lying about it. Hello, everyone. I am Random 42 your favorite YouTube harpy. Definitely hit the little share arrow on on the thing and the, the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel, etc, etc. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker test screenings never happened. Reveal J.J. Abrams. Okay, okay, okay. So last week, right before Thanksgiving, the Sunday right before Thanksgiving, J.J. had admitted that they just wrapped that Sunday. It was in an interview on Monday, and then we had the whole, you know, the leaked scripts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now he's saying that there's no test screening ever happened. Well, I did point out that they would not have time to test screen the version of the film that they finished last Sunday because we're now 18 days out from this uh, this stinker being released. What What are you doing, JJ? You've got 18 days left, and you didn't even test screen the thing. Remember when all those reports of Star Wars Rise of Skywalker test screenings came out? It had been reported that there were screenings of the movie, but it's been revealed by J.J. Abrams himself that they never took place. Well, well, okay, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He said that it's this version of the film, though. Now, they could very easily have changed absolutely everything that was reported because, like we said, they've been possibly filming right up until last Sunday, according to J.J. Abrams himself. Now, oh, how much of that we're going to take with a grain of salt or whatever, it could just mean, oh yeah, we finished the final edit, we finished the principal photography, we finished, you know, and we just have to stitch this together. Could mean a lot of things. Because he did say, no, I have not sat down and seen the entire film from beginning to end, because there's still a lot of fiddly bits. You know, you see it and you're like, okay, this part is perfect. So they do still have to stitch the thing together. You got 18 days. Get cracking. Get cracking. Where's, where's my where's my thing? Get cracking, JJ. It had been reported that there were three cuts of the movie. One was supposedly Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy's cut. The other was Bob Iger's and the third was George Lucas's. Now I said the whole time that I thought these reports were bogus, according to this article, but a lot of media outlets ran with it. Now I said my thoughts on that as well. Definitely check out my video on there. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker's J.J. Abrams revealed during a recent interview that there had been no test screenings of the movie. He was asked during a recent interview with Esquire whether anyone had seen the finished product yet. See now, okay, this is the thing. He's talking about 100% of the version of the film that's going to be in theaters in December. So 18 days from now. This was when the director revealed that nobody had seen the final product yet. Sure, I mean the final? No, he responded. Then he continued, I have not even gotten to see the final product. So that doesn't mean that there haven't been any test screenings. No, because you, you, what you do is you do the test screening and then, and then you go in and you change stuff and then nobody saw the test screening of that. They're just going in and fixing what people didn't like, right? That is what this reads like to me because you're not going to do a movie with this big a budget with this much writing on it without any test screenings. Like, that that's just, that doesn't make any sense to me. That's just bad filmmaking 101 right there. He then spoke about having to put the final pieces of the movie together. This is exactly what I said. This is exactly what I said. So they're just using this to kind of smear the fandom menace. When the film drops in 18 days and it's going to be completely different than any of the leaks and rumors and everything that people have reported. Now, every time I've talked about it, I said, take it with a grain of salt because they're watching us and they will change things. So even if, let's say, let's say Doomcock was 100% right. They're going to change pretty much everything he said in his video just to smear the fandom menace and people who are, are kind of of the same, you know, we didn't like The Last Jedi and we're not too happy with Lucasfilm. Me, me, people like me, basically. So that's what they're doing here. And this could easily be just a little bit of a propaganda piece to smear the fandom menace a little bit. What I think, I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit of everything. You gotta, you gotta take a little bit with a grain of salt. You gotta read what's not said. What's not said is that, yes, it's for this version of the film only. They're, they're running with that. They're running with, there's no test screening ever, 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 which that can't be true. That just can't be true. Now, if there was a test screening that was completely different than what Doomcock had reported, we don't know because, I mean, I wasn't there. You guys probably weren't there. If you were there, definitely let me know in the comment section below. 
they could still change everything that was reported just to make us look bad. So tell me what you guys think. I am Mecha Random 42 and I'll see you guys on the next video, live stream or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.